Hey everyone, so I did a little switch with the camera so you could look straight down because um, I'm going to be doing a yarn pull. Uh, these are two of the Da Vinci Pro panels. So I'm going to go ahead and paint on these tonight. These are pre gessoed, which is wonderful, saves me a step. And we're going to be using the Payne's Gray uh, base coat. I have a video for the paint mixing video, a link for the paint mixing video um, below. So now I can't point because that won't work. <laughs> and also, um, I will show you how I mix this in just one second. So I'm going to go ahead and get my base coat down. Painter was very full, so I just pulled some out. So you want to get this um, on your canvas or birch panel, whatever you're, you're using. You want it really thin. So when you're pulling your yarn, you're not pulling a gob of paint with it. So once I have that on there, I'm going to go ahead and come back this way and I'm going to just let it drip. Okay. I'll pop it on that one. Normally I have my base coat already down when I start the videos, but we have a lot of new people and I'm still getting a lot of questions so um, if you've been watching me a while go ahead and fast forward but let's let the new people see how we do it I get a lot of requests for these maybe because no one else is doing them I don't know I'll still do them if they come out beautiful, so I don't have a problem doing the same videos, um, techniques for new people. And it's running down. We should be ready to go here in one second. As long as I keep it on this end of the canvas, we're okay. Okay. So I may have to come back in after these dry and touch these edges with a paintbrush, and that's fine. Um, shouldn't hurt it any. Usually I paint the edge first and then put the base coat down, but time constraints today. So I was really hoping switching that camera around would take the glare away. Guess what? It didn't. Let me see if I can move these back just a smidge. There, that's a little better. Let me go ahead and torch those air bubbles out because I just mixed it. So on my Payne's Gray, um, I add one bottle of the Gunmetal Metallic because I like that. I don't, you guys can't see it real well, but you can see how we get that metallic look to it. And we pull the iridescent white through it, it gives it a whole new look. So I, today I did use the Sargent's um, Acrylic Pearlescence Mixing Medium. Equal parts with white and just a little bit of Floetrol. You want it, oh that stick was dirty contaminated my white. Let's start that with a new stick. That's okay. I'm going to be using most of it anyways. So you want this paint to be kind of like warm pudding. Um, you want it so it's going to stick to your yarn. So a little thicker than paint pouring paint but not too thick that it won't run off the stick. 
Alright, let me wipe my hands off really well. Because <clears throat> I've still got a lot of gunmetal metallic on my fingertips. Okay. So we're going to pull yarn. I'm not doing the zigzag. I'm doing the loops. I like the loops just a little bit better than the zigzag. It looks more... Um, natural. So I run that stick right along that yarn. Ooh, that was a long one. I may not need all that. A little too long. I may cut a little off of those yet. I like to let them set so the white will fall into the paint before I pull. And we're going to go back in and place more flowers and stuff in these. So I do not reuse my yarn. You don't want to contaminate your white like I did with the blue in the very beginning. So I'm going to take another one of these. I am going to cut about five inches off of there that I don't need. Maybe that'll help. We shall see. I'm used to uh, standing up <laughs> doing these. So I am going to go on the other canvas and do one. And it's okay if you drip. Don't freak out if you drip. I like when you pull through the paints gray and you get this light blue color through here. It's so pretty. When I do the purple ones, I get this really pretty shade of pink. I haven't done a purple one in a long time. Maybe we're due for that, too. I do have a request out, though, from someone that wants me to do a rainbow pour um, on black. So um, I'm still fitting that in my schedule. I'm making schedules now. I just have too many things that go on at one time and I forget so now I write everything down in a schedule I hate when someone will say I thought you were gonna do that and <laughs> it's like oh, I forgot so sorry if I forget <laughs> busy busy right oops I hit the camera again I'm sorry guys I'm not used to it being there. I wonder if I want to run a stick up that because it did touch. I was so worried about hitting that camera, I wasn't paying attention. More touch. It's a little better. And then you take your finger and touch it. Touch it again. Take all that off and go ahead and touch it with your paint's gray. That should fix it. Alright, one more on the other side. Then I'm going to place one here and there just to fill up the canvas. I have a 
busy, busy weekend coming up and paint sales and I needed to sit down and relax today. Now when I do a bigger canvas with the camera turned this way, I won't hit the camera because it'll be up much higher. I brought you way down so you could watch. Okay. So if you're new to our channel, click that subscribe button while you're here. You'll see more videos from us by clicking on that bell. You'll get notifications when we put a new video up. Join our group on Facebook too, uh, the Paraj Posse. That link is below. Come in and show us your art. If you have questions, we can help you. And it's a great group. We have um, some wonderful members. Everybody in there is super, super nice. We haven't had any issues. So if you guys want to see something in particular, um, send me a message through Facebook, um, Christina Welch Art on Facebook. I can put it in my schedule and let you know when it's going to be coming up. We also um, play around on Monday nights with um, new techniques or standbys but we let you guys pick out colors sometimes and Ellen has a lot of fun on Monday nights that's for sure it's good for him to uh, be put on the spot to paint like that it really is helping him with learning he's finding out what colors don't go together <laughs> but we have a good time and we love all our subscribers, so. When you show up on Monday nights, we're like, yay! <laughs> we're happy you're there. I think one more in that one spot, just to make it a little wider. But do you see how nice and thick this is? If I would have had this runnier, we would have gotten a ton of cells because there is no silicone in any of this. But we would have gotten cells because the paint was too thin. See where we pull it thinner, we do get some cells, but if that white was really thin, then we'd have a lot of cells. I think I need to make this loop bigger. One little spot in there. Okay, let's get that spot. Get the show on the road. Yarn pulls are fun. They're relaxing. Um, I don't think anybody could really screw one up. If you're following the recipes, you should be able to do one of these. So we're going to bring that out just a little bit. what I wanted. I like that feathery look. So, what do you think, guys? I need something here, don't I? Something little. It 
Some people go all the way to the bottom with their yarn pulls. I don't normally. I'm looking at this side here now. <laughs> And I love to resin these. They just look so pretty when they're resined. They, uh, and they resin beautiful because there's no silicone in them. And on a birch board, it's even easier. I'm going to get that spot over there too. one I think Alrighty. there I'm good I'm good Anything else I want to monkey with? I have an air bubble there. Let's torch it and see if I can get the rest of those little bubbles out. That's better. I got one right there. guys that's it um so if you want to try this um medium uh, i'll put it in my amazon shop oops hold it this way now um i'll put this in my amazon shop for you to try it sergeant art acrylic pearlescence mixing medium equal parts um when you mix uh, this is very watery so you may not have to add much flow troll at all to the mix with your white because I just put just a maybe um, maybe half of one of these of Floetrol, so wasn't much at all. I was kind of disappointed how watery this was because it's it's like paint. You can go ahead and use it just like that with in a paint bottle without having to add anything to it. So, all right, guys, um, check out all the links below. If you have any questions, email me at christinawelchart at yahoo.com. Um, I do sell this um, Payne's Gray mixed with the Gunmetal Metallic. It's also known as my Moody Blue Shimmer. Um, if you're interested in purchasing paints, that link is below as well. Um, join us every Monday night at 9 p.m. right here on the channel, Eastern Time. We do uh, paint pours from 9 until 11 and um, check out my Etsy shop. Shop with me on Amazon for all your paint pouring supplies. And um, please join the group, Praj Posse. All those links are below. So thank you so much for watching. See you guys on the next one. Bye now. <laughs>